Drop a like in the next 5 seconds if you want me to gift you the Season 3 Battle Pass. Do you want a free gift or cosmetic from the item shop? Yes. Well you're in luck as I'm now gifting you all old subscribers every day so make sure to hit the big red button and also let me know in the comments your Epic Games ID so I can send you your free gift. And if you subscribe right now you could be our 1.8 millionth subscriber. Also don't forget to use code FRIENDLYMACHINE in the item shop when buying anything or gifting anybody else and let me know down below in the comments if you have done this so I can heart it to show my appreciation for supporting the channel. Welcome back everybody to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video and despite everything that's gone on this season we've finally seen the live event occur, obviously meaning that Doomsday unfolded, Midas' master plan worked and basically pushed back the storm. Not only this, but finally we saw the Doomsday hatches open, revealing what was inside all along, and the Doomsday device surfaced from underneath this fountain that I speculated all along this season. With this perhaps being one of the best live events ever and tons of secrets being contained in it and after it, I figured today we'd not only go over all the secrets pointing toward what's going to be included not only in the Season 3 trailer, but actually Season 3 itself, and there's been four official teasers published and so many more hints pointing toward the characters even shown in the live event that will be involved directly as main protagonists this next season included throughout the launch trailer. Just make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video today because there's tons of things for you guys to understand even before viewing this season 3 trailer when it releases tomorrow on June 17th 2020. So unfortunately you guys didn't quite hit 50,000 item shop supporters using code friendly machine but don't worry we're still going to be gifting tons of subscribers every single day the brand new battle pass despite obviously totaling up well it might eventually to 100 but I want to thank all of you guys for rocking the code in the item shop and if you haven't entered it if you want to support me make sure to enter that right now okay so where do we start with this live event firstly well there was sadly a cap on it as I'm sure you're all aware I got affected by this and obviously that meant I couldn't get into a game fire monkey a reliable youtuber and data miner actually lent me footage that he let me upload yesterday and if you missed that there will be a link in the description Description. And even despite this event getting delayed, killing the hype, or even being like limited, the first live event ever in terms of how many people can enter, there were 12 million players in game that actually watched this live, and obviously around 8.4 million that watched live on other social platforms such as Twitch and YouTube. With Fortnite obviously giving us these numbers, they followed up in another tweet by stating the device sets the stage for the new season launch on Wednesday. We can't wait for you to dive in. Now, this in itself is the first word we've got from Epic Games regarding the next trailer, obviously largely involving, you know, the giant circle of water or the wall of water as Donald Mustard describes in his bio, that's about to now crash down and flood all of the map with several POIs, either entirely flooded, a little bit, or generally sticking quite much out of the water. Despite Epic Games tweeting this out, they followed up after the event shortly after with the first official teaser, as we typically see three or four in a usual case of a season, but last season for Chapter 2 Season 2, we saw so many. And this first one looks like what appears to be some sort of bamboo stick that many people thought at first, but the second teaser confirms that it was just a zoomed in part of the Aquaman Trident staff. Not only that, but if you guys wanted more confirmation as to Aquaman being the secret skin for, well, Chapter 2 Season 3 like Deadpool was in Season 2, Jason Momoa, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but anyways, the actor who played Aquaman posted this on his Instagram, and basically, it's the exact same official teaser that Epic Games have been emailing out to multiple people, YouTubers, or just generally people in the Fortnite community. Despite this perhaps being the most interesting teaser, the third one that Epic Games then put out on their official verified social media was the one you're seeing on screen that appears to be some sort of planet or moon, but upon closer inspection in the next follow-up final teaser that we've seen, then I'm guessing it's the last one considering we haven't seen any more frequently posted after this seven hours ago, is an astronaut-like skin holding what appears to be coded in the files thanks to Sizzy Leaks finding this out, a meteor? I honestly can't wrap my head around all the things happening, considering hey, also this trailer, hey, hey. as confirmed by other leaks coming true, is most likely to resemble Season 3, or at least have this character stranded Jonesy included throughout it, or directly the cinematic trailer itself after, you know, this wall of water that Donald Mustard describes floods the entire map, and honestly I believe this character will be involved in the cinematic rather than the Agent Jonesy skin that we saw literally in the live event in the first ever 
first person mode that we've seen in Battle Royale history for Fortnite. And the reason for this is because obviously our secret agent theme for Chapter 2 Season 2 has now come to an end and we haven't seen him rotate throughout the item shop, so it wouldn't make sense for them to carry over this theme or include it at all throughout the next Battle Pass and obviously correlating to the flooded theme or this wall of water that's going to crash down more so would be Stranded Jonesy, but speaking of this first person scene, obviously we have another Battle Pass skin actually revealed to us or confirmed upcoming in the next season Battle Pass or perhaps the first item shot rotation, which is the engineer on these top secret files. Also speaking of leaks that have already come true despite the flare gun shown in this trailer and obviously this then correlating through the Fortnite puzzle to have teased season 3 of chapter 2 this entire time since season 9. We had Sharks also included on the list of leaks as I'm sure you're all aware and we finally have confirmation to them already even being in the game that you perhaps saw in the event if you could attend or if you were one of the 12 million or 8.4 million watching a live stream as they were in the wall of water during the live event but afterwards obviously now when we hop into a game where it's used as the storm circle closing in so that we only have limited space to operate they cannot be seen. Speaking of the Sharks also TikTok had their own advert of Fortnite Season 3 or to promote it or actually tease it with sharks swimming over what seems to be, well, the water in silhouette form and a Fortnite logo with the date 6, 17, 2020 being the 17th of June. Many people believe this will be the end scene of the trailer or where it cuts to for Fortnite to promote, well, what season it is and what devices or platforms it'll be available on and the fact it's free to play. But if this is the case, this obviously then means with sharks already shown in silhouette form, perhaps below them or above them, they will need to be utilised or even shown off in the cinematic trailer or the Battle Pass trailer so we get a good look of how everything will work in this new upcoming season. Currently right now going off some leaks from the same source that have already come true to do with Aquaman the Sharks and even the Flare Gunner Stranded Jonesy skin, this source also stated that the Sharks won't be just something accessible like a boat or vehicle that's already tamed but perhaps will be living entities of their own accord in the water meaning well they might try and eat you if you're swimming in the water perhaps away from them or near them and you'll have to tame them or take the time out to tame them in order to then ride them. Not too sure how that will work out and I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of anger moments or death rage montages or clips you're going to be seeing from your favourite influencers perhaps dying to these or as a result of trying to tame one being eliminated by another player. But I guess we'll have to wait and see and speaking of these being transportation methods obviously that then means there will be the method instead of boats perhaps that are vaulted maybe that get us around from POI to POI in this now new flooded chapter 2 map and some of these POIs have already been leaked, sadly not what they look like but the names themselves, firstly being Ancient Ruins, Sunny Shores, Cascade Falls and The Lair and there was a leak a while ago stating that the grotto would be entirely filled up with water or flooded so I'm guessing this is going to be the lair considering the grotto in itself is some kind of evil lair or base. I also believe Sunny Shores is what was the code name when the chapter 2 map was initially leaked but no one believed it of what we now know as Sweaty Sands so perhaps this is revamped and called this. But again for the other two we don't really know and perhaps even these two we don't have any official images of as of now but obviously tomorrow when the update launches or when you're watching this video perhaps it's already gone live, you'll be able to confirm that and let everybody know down in the comments. Now despite these being specific map changes that we know will perhaps be flooded, the water level over the entire season as it will cover the entire map but have POIs or points of interest or even just general structures like the mountains sticking out of it will actually go down and as it goes down it's said that obviously now we have confirmation to Aquaman being the secret integrated skin that we unlock as a collaboration on DC's behalf just like we had with Marvel and Deadpool. Just like Deadpool having his own name location the yacht when the water level sinks or goes down, over time in the season, the city of Atlantis, where obviously Aquaman is from, will be revealed as a point of interest or name location. Also now, speaking of specific name locations, the irony of me making this video, Fortnite again have started tweeting out their official teasers to show us not only a part of a certain location, named on our map or point of interest, but it also showcases a crashed boat. Believe it or not, this boat is actually in our map right now on the outskirts anyways, in a destroyed part, 
you guessed it, the oil rig, kind of at the center, but from looking at this teaser, the surroundings look different from what we can see anyways, but Epic Games or Fortnite just put out another teaser showing us more background scenery as well as this boat, and it seems the leaks have come true about these oil islands being added replacing the oil rig, obviously because of the fact it's going to need a revamp due to its destruction that happened. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in today's video, and I'm sure there's more teasers published, perhaps at the time of me uploading this and you watching, so make sure if you want to see the newest, follow my Twitter in the video description down below, and don't forget to slap a like on this video before you leave today. I also highly recommend subscribing with all notifications turned on, as this way tomorrow you're going to be getting the juiciest parts of Season 3 broken down in videos in the quickest possible manner, and I hope to see you remaining active in the comment section down below on those future videos to come. So I'm out, have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching, have a good one, take it easy, and as always, peace.